Now, social postings of comments, pics and videos all prove that quite a few of you ventured out to Western New Providence yesterday to get a bird's eye view of Mother Nature's wrath as sand, rock, seaweed and in some instances even signage littered the street. But how will that sand be restored? Well, if you're like us and is wondering the same, listen in to this report from our Jiminy Swain. One of the things that tropical storm Nicole brought with it is, of course, storm surge. That storm surge leading to damage to a number of barriers at the beach here at Sanders Beach. As you can see, there is a trail of damage that will have to be repaired by works and probably public parks and beaches officials. However, Executive Director of the Bahamas National Trust, Eric Keery, fills us in on how important it is to replenish the beaches following storms such as this one. Natural vegetation on beaches beaches helps to hold it together. You know, we remove the casuarinas from a lot of our beaches and we plant native trees. Casuarinas don't hold the sand together. They have very shallow roots and often in hurricane conditions, they wash over and the beach uh, erodes. When you have good intact vegetation, native vegetation, those roots go deeper, they hold the sand together. So even though you would have wave overwash, the sand and the beach, the dune stays in place. And in the case of sand losses, Kerry says natural defenses are key. We prefer that we utilize natural systems like mangrove buffers, uh, beach dunes that are built from native, native plants that, that the dune restores itself. So you have natural defense from the storm as opposed to depending on man-made defenses. But oftentimes we've impacted the beach so much that we don't have a choice but to put in seawalls. But you can see what's happened here is even though there is a seawall, this is now built back, this, you know, years ago before they put in the whale tails. I mean, the beach was literally right here and the water was there. Now you have a, you know, a beach that's, you know, 30 foot wide and you have vegetation that's coming. Now the storm surge has definitely subsided on the western portion of the island, but left behind is damage to the barriers on the beach. Ms. Gary indicates that the one thing that needs to happen is the sand that was washed away needs to be replaced following the passage of Hurricane Nicole. What we've been encouraging the government to do, and I know it was it was done in, in, in the last storm event, is that the sand shouldn't be taken away, it should be put back on the beach. And if there is vegetation there, it'll grow and we could we could we could uh, help speed it up by doing some some plantings uh, you know we've used NGOs we've used citizen science you know where the public gets involved so put the sand back on the beach um, do some more plantings even if you may not even need to plant if you just leave it in place nature will will seed if there you know nature will regrow if there are native seeds already in place but we could help it along by bringing in native plants but native plants natural systems those are much preferred much preferred and offer us a better defense uh, uh, against things like climate change storms storms that are caused by by that are made more intense by climate change, natural systems are our best defense. Jim Anita Swain for the Bahamas Tonight.